Hey, I'm Albo. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream, and so my videos are about my car life in Japan, where I go to car meets and visit shops, do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました。Alright guys, so we are coming up here to Hot Barrel Factory. Alright, we've arrived at Anpara. Alright guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are here at Unparallel Factory because today I'm having a carbon fiber hood installed on the S2000. It's a Varus carbon fiber cooling bonnet. Oh, looks like Stan's here. Hey dude! How are you? What up, what up? Yeah? You come with the new car or with the... Yeah. Uh... The, the Serious? Like another Integra? Oh yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. oh, I thought I thought that part was obvious. No, I don't buy anything. <laughs> That's it, <laughs> dude. Oh my gosh, yeah. So it's a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's actually the cleanest Integra we could find. This is incredible. Yeah. Look at this. So wait, you have three Integras now. Yeah. The red one or the that so one. Oh, yeah. Monster. Yep. And one, which I'm gonna turn into like a spoon light tune replica. Oh, okay. So like black bonnet, black lead, and a Rega Master. Like just, just for the look. I'm yeah. not gonna race it or anything. It even has like rear seats. Wow. Can we take a, take, like, take a look? Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey Ken. <laughs> you got a, another Integra. <laughs> yeah, you know. He helped me find it. <laughs> <laughs> we are partner in crime. <laughs> he just, Mata. <laughs> <Not the. laughs> yeah, you just love Integra so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. So why? I mean, I get it, but like, you know, why? Explain, please. <laughs> Because I'm been thinking, I don't have any other cars I really like except for like Dodge Charger from 68. Which yep. is not something you can drive anywhere, but on yep. a straight line, which is boring. Yep. And I do love Integras, and like mine, the, the monster one doesn't look like an Integra anymore, really. Right. Because of the new front end and everything. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm gonna get the new one and make it pretty. Mm. But not racy, like I can still have people around, mm -hmm. not too loud, check in, kind of okay. Yeah. And clean. Oh my god, it's so clean. Look at the engine bay. Wow. So yeah. This is gorgeous. It's like me in S2000s. I'm probably gonna get another one, you know, just, just because. crazy. Right? For Yeah, please. Yeah, sorry. Hang on. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I have no excuse. <laughs> It's, I'm just a kid at this point. It's insane, though. Like, the whole car has been overhauled. Mm -hmm. Transmission, bushings, driving, drive shaft. ECU has been overhauled. Oh, wow. By ECU. Three. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <clears throat> And, like, the, I have the maintenance from all the third previous owner, the three previous owner. Yeah. From the time it was sold. 20 years ago. Let's go see my right. first. It's over there. Oh, it's already open? Uh, no, but I, 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 I saw the box. Okay, cool. Very excited. We're waiting for six months for this, man. Oh, this car's crazy. Look at this. That's Teleco. He runs like four seconds at DC 2000. Uh -huh. This is Takuya, five seconds. He blew his engine last time. Ooh. Oh, there's my. Look at that massive hood. Couldn't like bring it home with that. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking maybe I could put it in the Forester. No, yeah. no. So, hood. It's gonna go on here. Should be pretty fast. I mean, just a hood swap. So, look at this. Ken's uh, Lotus. So Ken is the uh, co-owner of this shop. All right, let's check out our hood over here. Stan, why do we love, why do we love carbon parts so much? Do we though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do. My bank account is less. 
we're gonna start taking the same thousand same pictures oh, yeah. of this in the same places, the same angle, but just one part changes all the time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And what happens, right? It's like you take so many pictures, you're like, I'm, I'm gonna post this later, yeah. and then you change one thing, you can't use those pictures anymore. anymore. Yes. Oh, cut this, man. Oh, it's super light. Beautiful carbon. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to uh, paint it or just leave it exposed carbon. You want me to help you with this decision? Yes. Let's leave it like that. Oh. You have carbon. If you had FRP, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. But carbon, it's like... It's cool. Right. All right, here it is. Starting to come out now. Oh man, that's that's more sick than I imagined. Yeah, it looks. I like the the vent like this. Yep, the huge uh, huge nose over here. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, that's sick. So many people go with like the Mugen one. Rain comes on. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which one? This the the vent? We can install it here, right? I think. Install it here, but it might be better if you install it after you paint. I think I'll leave it unpainted. What do you think? Paint it or leave it? I was thinking leaving it actually. All right, so we're actually gonna go for lunch. We're gonna leave the car here. And uh, while this, this beautiful baby gets installed. And, oh man, I'm so excited. Waiting half a year for this. Why do we love car parts so much? I don't know. It's basically like model kits, like when we were kids. You had me at meat. What? You had me at meat. Doesn't get to me. Start up. Ooh, spoon. Spoon N1? Yes, sir. Oh, it smells great. Uh, the classic smell of uh, black, black ice. ice. <laughs> Good old black ice. It's like a smell that I don't love by itself, but it, it reminds me so much of like cars, right? It still smells but um, it has tank suspension. Oh, boxy. <laughs> Performance dad wagon. It's just like stupid. Yeah. I like it. It already came with gauges. Yeah. And those are pretty nice. Like, 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 style. Oh, yeah, yeah. It sweeps right there. There we go. So cool. It is, it is just like clean. And it already came with these seats? Already stopped yeah, with the so seats. The type these are X, those, like the zero zero spec, which is yep. this, yep. comes with black oh. by default, and not the red one. The red ones were options. So, wait, is this higher spec or lower spec? Than it's the highest usual? spec. It's a type RX, which yeah. means you have like electric folding oh. mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this baller. Keyless entry. Keyless entry or stock. Different pedals. I, don't, I couldn't care less about all of this, to be honest. But <laughs> it's just wow. nice to, like, since I'm not gonna race it, I don't care about the weight, like the additional weight of those things. So it's nice to have, like, yeah. a high grade yep. vehicle. And you inspire me. Like, you you bought three of the same car. <laughs> I, don't no, no, to, no. I don't think that's the inspiration people need. <laughs> I think that's the dumbest idea I have ever heard, and that's mine. The funniest part <laughs> is, like, you didn't buy it, like, buy and sell the same car? You, no, you own three of the same car at the same time. I mean, they're a bit different. I have the four-door one, I have the chill but a bit sporty two-door one, and I have the fucking monster. I can't drive anywhere around anyway, so mm. oh, it's just, it's complementary. Mm. So you have a daily for your daily. Which is the daily now? Is this yeah, a daily as, or is as, the as I thought, there will 
is there is no way we'll find excuses for this project. It was just dumb, and I like it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the best. Like when you can just make stupid purchases right. with like fuck you money, yeah. and it's just like fuck it. Which is do it because I can. The only issue with fuck you money is that like like regular money it goes out. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't yeah. even have yeah. fuck you money. In it. Oh, no. well, what, what you, <laughs> like this car is great because this is like a like a moving Bitcoin. You know, this is just gonna Hopefully. go up in value. Uh, so unless I drive too, too close to the yeah. wall. Yeah. No, let's, let's not do that I'm again. I'm quite used to, to be honest. <laughs> Is you actually have usable back seats, like you actually have a right, like an interior now. Let me show you this. There's like so little space in here with all this stuff, right? Compared to when it's going yeah. up, look at this. This is the maintenance yep. stuff. Oh wow, all, like all the maintenance, the maintenance. all the owners. Receipts and records for everything. Uh, you have pictures. Uh, type one. Oh, nice. Amazing. Oh, yeah, nice. They overhauled the transmission and everything. They took pictures and they left it in the car. So I really have a record of everything. This is awesome. Right. Just told me like the great story of this car. Can you give like the one minute version of it? So I was looking for another DC2 coupe white to make the spoon one right, and so I was looking at this SIR for like thirteen thousand dollars, and uh, Ken was like, "Hey, wait, I'm gonna look for on B2B auctions first. and he sent me a lot of like, shitty one, like completely tuned, disgusting ones for like twenty thousand dollars and shit. And then he's like, "Oh wait, there's this one," and he sent me the picture of this one, and he says. If you want to do a spoon replica, that sounds like a good shortcut. All in suspension, that's all I knew. The car came, the car came, the car came two days ago. And we realized it's actually a Type RX, super well maintained, with like overhauled parts, good spots. Yeah, the work was on Type 1. I, I we were like surprised by how actually cheap it was compared to like the grade it is. So it was like very like lucky find. Really thankful to I love this car. I love I love how much you love this car, which makes me love it more. I even I don't understand. Even I can't explain. I told my French friend who doesn't know anything about car. Oh, he doesn't care. I was like, hey, I bought a new car. He's like, oh, that's nice. But if it's the same again, I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> and I sent pictures. I was like, wait, it's the same again, right? So I was like, yes, it is. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? And my girlfriend was like, so. What is it? I was like, it's a white one. It's like, again! I, like, I didn't even say the same car. I was like, it's a white one. It's like, again. Yes. It's like, ex exactly the same car. It's exactly yeah. the same car. Which, even I can't really comprehend. I don't know why I just wanted it. I could have bought another EF or something. But... I get. I totally get it. It's a Honda thing. I mean, like, I want, like, another S2000, as, as dumb as it is. Yeah. It's like, I'm like, yeah, you know, I want a streetable version of the, the car that I'm building for the track. Right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that... Even if I can't drive this like the monster around and I see another DC2 go by, yeah. I still like, okay, we, I'm, I'm, I'm one of you guys, right? But I wonder if like the urge to modify it more and more and more will slowly take over and then this is, then you're gonna need, need to get another Type R to, so you don't have to daily this one. I'm already looking at the parts. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep it aesthetic. Like the other one is already like full tune, I don't need anything more hardcore than this one. It's fine. I'm good. Alright, famous last words. Four months later. Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We are gonna eat here at Big Kuri Donkey, which means the surprised ass. As in like a donkey. Oh man, yeah. It clears. Yeah, I would not make that on my car. <laughs> Alright. Oh jeez, I love these wheels. 
Yep, I'm gonna get these wheels. All right. There you go. Are, are you a pineapple on meat fan? I, I wouldn't mind it, I think, but I, I'd rather have cheese. This is great. Look at that. It's so good. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember. Like, you eat burgers weird. I wonder how you eat. Right. Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> and change the from chemicals to uh, Ampara. Mm. So the Ampara brakes, are they... Um... They're like spoon, spoon plus. Okay. So they're just a bit more resistant in the, like, endurance. Yep. So who, who makes them? Nissin? Or <laughs> Nissin? It's a little company. Uh, I don't know who actually makes them. But they have better properties and like uh, better durability than the spoon one. So I guess it's a good upgrade. For dinner, this wonderful Sunday, because we've been working hard all day. Actually, no, we didn't do anything. <laughs> you can convince yourself. Oh, there it is. Chacho's here. Yep. That car is so sick. Yeah. Oh, you got the new one. He was, was driving a bit fast. And the whole uh, diffuser, yeah. not diffuser, the lead splitter, the splitter yeah. just like flew off. And the car just like, like this. <laughs> so he got it replaced. It looks sick, man. I mean, he is reaching speeds that like, the splitter Ooh. manufacturer didn't expect. Good timing? Oh wow, look at that. Dude, it looks so sick. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, that's sick. Yep. The wheels are bad enough that you don't actually have to paint them or the one. Yeah, actually, I think it's, I think it's fine. Ten. Present for you. Oh shit, you made some. Yeah. Is that cool? That's interesting. It's like double sided. Yeah, I saw that. That's cool. That's actually good quality though. Yeah, yeah it is. It's embroidered. Nice. Dude, that carbon hood looks crazy. Look at that. So now I'm quite undecided if I'm gonna paint this or just leave it bare carbon because it looks freaking amazing as bare carbon. Looks even better than I imagined. I'm super glad I went for this hood instead of the more common. Uh, there's a bunch of common ones like the Mugen one or the Mugen style ones. Even Jace Racing one, which looks like the Mugen one, you can barely tell the difference. What else? There's like the ASM one, which looks really good, but it's a little bit too simple for me. I love this one. I love the Barris hood. It, it mind blown right now. So we took off the rain cover, and super cool because you can see the intake cover through. Uh, 
uh, through the vent. And it's super gaudy, gold wrapped. But that's sick. Oh, dude, that's sick. There we go. There now, we go. Now, it's, now, now, it's now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. Fuck, that's cool. That was cool, but that's perfect. That's so sick. All right, representing the hunters. Sounds like host power to me. <laughs> the hunters thrill the chase. So, Osaki ni. Tell, tell bye to Negoro for me. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. Hey, dude. Have good, a good to see you, man. Uh, afternoon. Sounds good. See you, brother. Take care, have fun. You too. Thanks. See ya. I just uh, got out of the shop. I'm just here to spell me more. Let's just get a few shots over here while the light is really good. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. Born in the city, I was raised on its edges My pop work is life when it's gone blocks up I'm loving its center If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better I love the weather, even though it's fog 24-7 I love the people, this is city I met all my best friends And I wanna thank every brick I wanna thank every entrance to every building that I step in In this city of mine, oh you most my best moments in life See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off And spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keep drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost on the